You got some speaking to do of your own. Not that old gang of yours. Howdy, viewers. Brad Pryder, Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. As I go through my fourth playthrough, there's a lot of stuff I missed. A lot of details I didn't pick up on or didn't record in my previous three playthroughs. So I'm trying to record everything that Arthur does, and I'd rather edit out and dump anything I repeated than miss something I didn't get. This is called paying a social call. And Arthur uh, kind of is antagonizing Kieran, and eventually the rest of the gang threaten him. And then he says he can tell them where Colmel Driscoll is hiding and leads them to Five Points Cabin. So let's get on with paying a social call. You got some speaking to do of your own. Not that old gang of yours. I said, I told you, I don't know nothing. That's what I thought. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. Oh, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. Okay, then, partner. Uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. Well, you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Colm? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I'll, I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like... God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me, instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Now the ride is pretty extensive and you can enjoy the conversation when you play this mission. I'm going to fast forward 
to get to the main part of the attack on the cabin. Yeah, this is something like four minutes of riding and conversation. So you can go through it yourself. It's a lot of time. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said... Easy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Come on. Okay, get down. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellers armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers, yup. And Colm O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell me he got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell them yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Okay. Go to work. Mm. We're here. We don't need nothing else from you. The old man loses it. I won't get another chance in ages. I'll be spent guard duty. Arthur tries to do it quietly, and things go all to hell. He might as well just shoot the guy from a distance. I mean, that's really why bother with throwing knives.
Before you go into the cab and loot some O'Driscolls, get yourself some money, get yourself some loot, get yourself some things because it's the only time you'll be able to loot the bodies. Once you get into the cabin and get out of the cabin, things go a little crazy. So I'll let things go from here until I need to talk again. You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como Driscoll's gonna lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash. In the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> Right you are. And the reason I only bring one rifle is now Arthur has a double-barreled shotgun. He can clean it up. It's in decent shape. And it's just another weapon you don't have to buy. You can keep, you know, some of these weapons, if unless they're saying that they're badly damaged or worn, yeah, you clean them up, you got yourself a free weapon. At least you got something tucked away. Well, before I leave, I want to try and loot this last O'Driscoll, and instead I pick him up, yeah. Now, there's a crime reported, and people are coming. Uh, Arthur's got to get out of here and lose the law, and he's going to just do that. If you found this video interesting and informative, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, Hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post a video game related video every day of the week, Sunday through Saturday. 
and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. Thank you.